Hello, welcome to episode one of how to make a VR game in Unity using the Ultimate XR framework. This just released two days ago. This is a completely free open source framework for building VR games in Unity. I recommend coming over to their website and reading the guides on how to get started, but I'm going to be going through this in this video anyway. Some things to keep in mind before we get started, you're going to need Unity 2021.2 or higher and a VR headset. Pretty simple. If you want to check your headset is supported, read through these. If your headset's on here, then you're good. We can continue. To start off, I'll have a link to the Ultimate XR website in the description. And you're just going to want to come over here and click download. And this will download a .unity package. Now, I'm still in the old Unity hub. Um, so you may have a different looking hub. But just make sure you create a 3D project. If you have the option, create a universal render pipeline 3D project. And name this whatever you want. I can't spell apparently. Now that we've made it into our Unity project, we're going to want to head up to Window, Package Manager. And we're going to go to the Unity Registry. Now, you can skip this step if you've already got a Universal Render Pipeline project, but I don't. So we're going to come all the way down to Universal Render Pipeline. Here we go. And install that. And there we go, as you can see we've got the Universal Render Pipeline installed, but that does not mean we're using it. So I'm going to create a new folder down here, just call it URP. Come up to Create, Rendering, URP Asset with the Universal Renderer. Just leave that as is, unless you want to give it a name. And this is how you set up all of your quality settings, but we're not going to mess with this today. Instead we're just going to head up to Edit, Project Settings. We'll start with quality, just click the plus next to there and change it to that. And if we go now go up to graphics and do the same here. And as you can see, if we now create a cube, it uses the universal render pipeline materials and everything looks fine. Okay, next you're going to want to take your Ultimate XR Unity package. I'm on 0 0.8.0, but there might be a newer version out by the time that I put this video out or when you're watching this, I don't know. And you're just going to drag it into Unity. And here, I'm just going to import everything. Uh, just so. And there you go. As you can see, we have the Ultimate XR in our project now. Um, but we still can't use VR. Now, the next steps are, again, all documented on the Ultimate XR guides. So as you can see, we've gone through this part. Now, next we need to set up our XR plugin management and SDKs. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to come up to Edit, Project Settings, XR plugin management, and you're just going to click Install. And now that we're in here, you don't actually want to click on anything. Um, we're going to have to install the SDKs first. So to see the SDKs, you're going to want to come to Tools, Ultimate XR, SDK Manager. Now you also have to be careful with this, as you can only use specific SDKs for specific headsets. These are all in the guides again. So if you look here, if you have a Rift, a Rift S, a Quest, or a Quest 2, you're going to want to use the Oculus integration. Uh, if you have a Pico Neo 3, you're going to want to use Pico XR. For Valve Indexes, or uh, HTC Vive, or the Vive Cosmos, you're going to want to use Steam VR. You can use Wave XR for the Vive Focus 3 and Windows Mixed Reality for the headsets as well. I am using a, a Quest 2, so I'm going to be going through the Oculus integration. But you can uh, come to this website, uh, as I mentioned earlier, and just click on any of the other ones to learn how to use those. If you come over here, as you can see, we want Oculus, or I do. So I'm going to click Get SDK, and that will take me to the Asset Store, where I can install Oculus integration which I already have, but once you have grabbed the Oculus integration from the Asset Store, you're going to want to come up to Window, Package Manager, My Assets. Just search for Oculus at the top here and find the Oculus integration. Now, you may have to update or download it. Make sure you are on the current version. It should say here Current. And click Import. Now, when this pops up, just click Import again. Here you go. Once uh, it's all imported, you'll be asked to up update uh, everything, possibly. Um, so I'm going to just click yes on everything. 
Now, you can't use OpenXR with this, so you're just going to have to click Cancel. Just click OK. Here, we'll just click Restart. Click No, Don't Ask Again. And then Close. And then Upgrade. And then Restart. This should restart your Unity Editor. And now that we're back, we have got the Oculus SDK installed. To make sure it's all there, go to Tools, Ultimate X XR, SDK Manager. And your status for Oculus should be available. It should, all of these should be roughly the same to import, but there are some differences to so make sure you check the website. Now, if you're making a game that you're actually going to want to publish or anything, you're going to want to come up to Oculus, Tools, Create Store Compatible Android Manifesto XML. Finally, if you come to Edit, Project Settings, XML Plugin Management, and turn on Oculus. And finally, if you're going to be building to Quest, come over to this Android section and turn on Oculus. Cool. Now, to make sure everything's working, come down to Ultimate XR, Examples, Full Scene, and just open up this, Ultimate XR underscore URP. And if you've done everything correctly, uh, you should start seeing all the textures load. I'm already in Oculus Link, so I should just be able to click play. And here we go. Let me maximize this view. There we go. We have both of our hands. If we press down on A and X, we can point. We hold the grip buttons, our hands close. If we come over to here, you can see we've got this very cool mirror, which runs really well on Quest, apparently. So that's very cool. All of the fun stuff is in... This room here, the laboratory... I can't speak. And in here, we can see all of these different objects that we can grab and mess around with. So we'll start with this, as you can see. We can grab anywhere on here. We come over here, we can grab this laser pen thing. You can also grab these uh, and spin this around. And you can also pull out the individual lights, which is very cool. Now to set up a grabbable, we're going to just add a 3D object. Now, I believe this has to have a collider of some kind, so we're just going to use a sphere. And you're going to want to add a UXR grabbable object. Now, here you have all of your options. You don't have to worry too much about these, but if you want to know more about them, you can just hover over them. So, here you can see the priority, and here you can see what grab mode is, and all of that. Now, we want our objects to be physics objects, so we're going to add a rigid body. And we're just going to drag this in up here, and we'll get some new options. Now, the only one we really care about is rigid body dynamic on release. Unless you want to get, again, really specific, then you can look through it all. But the ones that I care about are rigid body dynamic on release. We want this because that means that it will turn back into a physics object and it won't be kinematic when we let go. Now, to set up a grab pose, or you can drag your avatar into register avatar for grips, and you'll see we now have these green highlighted sections. We're going to add our grip pose uh, i'm not going to go over how to make these today because i haven't messed with that too much myself but we're just going to use the grab ball as they already have this set up for us and we'll create left snap and right snap here you go if you now move the left grab you'll see that it's you know working how you'd expect it to so you, um You can use this pose to change how much it is grabbing the ball. So obviously I just found the value that I thought looked best, which is about 0.33. And if we now click on the right grab and click copy from other hand, we'll get this, which it obviously doesn't work. So we're going to mirror front back and mirror up down. Mirror up down didn't work, so we're going to use mirror front back. Now, it also doesn't really work for me, so I'm just going to move this manually. And if we now head back to the sphere and turn off gizmos at the top here, you can see that both hands are gripping the object pretty well. Now, if you don't want to show hands when gripping the object, you can also just click hide hand renderer, but I do want to show this so we're going to go with this you can also uh register more avatars if you have more playable characters but we're not going to worry about that 
that should be the basic setup setup for a grabber ball. So if we click play and come over to our little sphere here, we should be able to get pretty close here and grab it. And as you can see, the pose that we set up works. And that is the basic setup for a grabber. And as you can see, we can throw it. And everything is working. Cool. Anyway, I hope I explained this well enough. Um, in the next episode, I'll go over how to create your own grab poses and some constraints, because I think those are some of the coolest parts of this. And we'll make our own version of the battery, which is in the laboratory section of the demo. If you've had any issues, leave a comment or head into the Discord, which will be in the pinned comment. Uh, that's the Ultimate XR official Discord, where they give like really good support. Um, yeah, I hope this helped you out, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.